Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Olorado and thank you for watching. And if you're watching for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. Okay. <laughs> no, you can subscribe if you want to, but um I would like to thank all my subscribers out there. Um I have I DM'd my friends on Instagram and I was like, please subscribe to my channel. So thank you very much. You know who you are. And the other people that subscribed as well. So thank you. All right, let's get right into the video. All right, so today I'm going to talk about required documents to for teaching English in Korea. Um, what do you need for you to apply? All right. So first of all, um, I came here through EPIC, English program in Korea. And this program is for people that wish to teach in public schools. Yeah. So if you want to teach private, this is not for you. Okay. So you can apply through, you can apply to EPIC through an agency or you can directly do it. So you basically you do it yourself. You don't ask an agency to help you. Yeah. All right. So what do you need? Um, you need a passport. Yes. You're leaving the country. Number two, you need an application form. And for that, you have to wait until EPIC opens. All right. So because you have to fill in the application online. So you have to wait for EPIC to, to give you the access. All right. So you can uh, fill in the application form, save it, and then go back. You don't have to complete it in one go, one sitting. All right, so under the application, you need to do the general information, you know, your um, personal information. And then you also have to do a lesson plan. Um, there's uh, temp examples online on Google. So what you want to do is get ideas from other people on topics, but you don't want to copy it because um, Epic will know you don't want to do that. That's going to ruin your application and you need a personal essay so you need to fill in like um, you have to write like three paragraphs it's three different questions as to like why you want to come to Korea uh, how are you going to deal with culture shock and I can't remember the third question basically why do you want to come and teach here I think your experience what are you going to give to the program yeah so yeah, personal essay, your lesson plan. Yeah. All right. You also need a professional photo, passport size photo, ID photo. I think you need about two of those and that you will submit later on in the application. And you need a university degree, university, university degree. Yeah. And you also need a police clearance certificate. All right. So, things to note about police clearance certificate and university degree is you have to send them to um, DECO, so Department of International Relations and Cooperation for, uh, to, for them to be apostled. So first, you take your university degree and you make a copy. You take the copy and the original and you take them to SAQA, South African Qualifications Authority. And they have to verify your documents, your degree, okay? So on the copy. And you take the verified copy and your original degree and you take your police clearance certificate and take them to DECO, Department of International Relations and Corporations. Yes. University degree and a police clearance. You take it to SAQA and they apostle your documents. So they'll attach a ribbon and stuff like that to your documents. Yeah. So that's what you do. All right. And with the police clearance, I would say do it as soon as possible. Apply for your police clearance as soon as possible because it's a long process so you can do it yourself get your fingerprints at the police station and use post net or something or you can ask an aid another private company to do it for you what the private companies normally they take about a week or two but if you do it normally yourself it takes months 
and you have to remember that the police clearance is only valid for six months okay so it's a bit tricky so you have to find the best way to apply for this police clearance it was a pain for me all right so that's what you need the other thing that you need is you need your university transcripts okay sealed from your university so i think you need about two and um i think with the pandemic maybe you want to do that as soon as possible i don't think there's uh, an expiration date to that so they need to be signed i think and stamped they need the stamp the stamp is the university stamp is very important that's why you need the physical copies posted to you not emailed i think because you need them sealed yeah university transcripts and you also need your for south africans proof of uh, english education proof of schooling letters uh, but basically you just need letters with three lines you know sentences saying that you you went to the school they know you and basically your subjects were taught in english so they need the letters at least from grade 7 until grade 12 to say that your subjects were taught in english so if you went to three schools you need all the letters i mean letters from all those three schools if you went to two schools you need letters from those two schools yeah yes and they need to be signed and stamped as well um so by ink they need to the principal whoever needs to sign it your administrative office you also need two reference letters okay they need to be from somebody above you uh usually like your boss your supervisor or it can be from your university lecturer professor academic advisor I think if you are a teacher, like you are a teacher by profession, then you can get it from like your co-teacher, you know, co-worker, I think. But it, it usually needs to be from someone above you in terms of position. Yeah, your boss. You need two ref reference letters from two different people and they need to sign it by ink. It needs to have a letterhead and they need to send it to you you can't have an email you need a physical signed thing letter and they need to send it to you um, people usually take forever to do these letters so you want to ask them as soon as possible yeah all right so you also need a TEFL certificate teaching teach English as a foreign language yeah TEFL certificate at least it has to be it has to be at least 100 hours so doing your TEFL you can do it online most companies they offer like 100 120 hours um, mine was 100 hours online and 20 hours in person so we did 10 hours in one, one day and then 10 hours the next day yeah so you can apply i mean you can do a tefl just online and still get the job as long as you have a tefl but if you have in person like practicals on your certificate then it gives you better chances but with the pandemic obviously you're going to do it online yeah all right so at least 100 hours okay um that's what they require from you and you also need to submit tattoo photos i think that's going to be in on the application form and they will tell you, you have to take pictures of your tattoo and describe the what it is is it a, a flower i had the size of it and if how you're going to hide it yeah so normally you send you take a picture of the tattoo and then you have to maybe wear a sleeve and then you take a picture show them how you're going to hide the tattoos all right so that's all i have um i hope this information was helpful the other thing is remember you the facebook groups that you can join i know one south africans in south korea that's a group that you can join um and then you can go to the search button and then search for maybe um police clearance certificate don't don't ask questions because a lot of people have asked those questions most likely already so once you are accepted into the group go to the search engine and put in keywords of what you're looking for okay 
all right and then you can visit the epic website do that please so that you have more information on these documents what you need and just more information on the process of applying and yeah that's it that's it it's not much right but i would say that you definitely need to get your police clearance apply for that as soon as possible two letters of two le reference letters your letters your police clearance and your tefl certificate you need those things your proof of schooling as well please english education all right guys uh that's it i'll see you on the next video bye